now in the best seller column we can make an, a drop down menu from here we can select the brand that is the best seller okay let's see how we can do that for that we just need to select the column we want to validate our data go to data menu and validate from here you just select this all values from here you need to select this cell range from here what you can do is just enter the name of the brand you want to show there okay best seller for example in 1997 the best seller was Nokia uh, I don't know who was the best seller but I'm just giving it for now Nokia uh, let's make a list of them Apple Blackberry uh, Samsung Sony okay that's all uh, by giving comma it will add another list item okay this is uh, one item this is another item uh, make sure it is comma otherwise it will not a list okay click ok here when you click on this cell you can see there is a option there is a sign from here you can select the menu what we have made the list by using data validity here we can select sony you see we, we don't need to write manually sony samsung apple okay here we made the list now let's reformat it just select all the column align center okay uh, production cost we are going to input some production cost with absolute value that means production cost will not be uh, minus okay let's see how we can do that just write a equal abs bracket inside this bracket just click inside this bracket if i just give any minus number for example minus one two three it will give you give you the absolute value that means it will be a positive you can see this is positive number i want to input all of them by manually okay let's input it so at first production cost production cost will be production cost bracket just write m i double l i o n here in the expense column we are going to add production with cost with some extra cost for that just give a equal sign click on this production cost plus extra cross cost will be 100 million okay let's see now extra cost make it 50 million okay that's fine just move it below like this okay at the end it will be net income net income what will be your net income let's make it million if i just uh, if i just extract this expenses from this revenue we will get the net income okay so how we can do that for that just give a equal sign uh, revenue minus expenses is equal this is the net income okay now our input is done now what i am going to do is 
I'm uh, in next video I'll show something else I'll show you how to subtotal how to make subtotal and in this video I'll show you how to uh, order it ascending or descending just uh, select this column for example we want to arrange by small smaller to bigger data okay just go to data short ascending okay current section extend section okay let's make it current section you can see this is this order is ascending this is the lowest production cost and this is the uh, biggest production cost okay press ctrl z to undo it once again just select the column data short descending okay uh, here we can see it's upper to lower okay once again control z once again select the column here what you can do select data short we have some uh, default short here we can select how or how we want to ascend okay let's say make it best seller key it will be production cost okay uh, short key okay okay you see by using production cost it is ascending and descending it's best seller you can see the best seller this is the best seller production cost it is smaller to upper and here best seller is blackberry it's uh, lower to upper for all nokia you see it's lower to upper that is how it's all okay that's all for this video if you like this video please like comment and subscribe that's all for this okay see you in the next video